Hi everyone, this is Deb Tim, a Canadian girl. And today I want to share with you my process for doing a water change on my 55 gallon tropical community aquarium. So please stay tuned. This is my 55 gallon tropical community tank. I know I just showed it not too long ago, but today is water change day. I thought you might be interested in seeing how I do water changes on this aquarium. Besides, a good friend of mine and YouTube buddy requested this video, so it's my pleasure to share the process with you. This is a clip before the water change. I know the tank doesn't look dirty, but often there are hidden components that can be deadly to your fish if you don't stick to a regular maintenance program. We all know the saying, looks can be deceiving. That can be applied here. I do apologize for the glare. There's my trusty water pump. You can see I use in all my water changes. I have it attached to the python and it runs from one end of the house to the other, right to the shower drain. So here's the aquarium once I've removed all of the fake plants. While I continue working, I am soaking my plants in a 3% bleach solution. I do this just to keep them clean and fresh looking. The next step is to remove the rocks and scape decor. I have my pail ready with my vacuum on the floor. If you look closely at the substrate, it really does look fairly clean and hardly in need of a vacuum. Here you can see my plants soaking in the bleach solution. Once they've soaked about 10 minutes, I drain the water off and refill the tub with fresh clean water as a rinse. I like to do this anytime I remove plants from my aquarium. It just makes the soaking process so much shorter if you don't let the plants get too built up with algae. Then while the water is draining, I also fill my pail with fresh water that will be treated just prior to refilling. The Everything has been removed from the aquarium. Although I should point out, I don't take the crib's house away. I can easily work around it without disturbing them. I can have a good close look at the fish, making sure they're all healthy. With everything out of the tank, you can well imagine how much easier it is to catch fish if I need to remove some for breeding or health reasons. This is definitely when you want to do that. I generally do a 60% water change on this aquarium. I have my rocks here and my Seacom Safe, which is my water conditioner of choice. I have baking soda to keep my pH good and stable. I have my pitcher ready. And here is a quick look at Hardy, my rope fish. He gets really excited during water changes. So here we have the tank fresh and clean and all put back together. The whole process only takes me about 45 minutes. Here you can see my two little angel fish I was telling you about. They're pretty small, both being about the size of a quarter. As I put the tank back together, I don't really worry too much about making huge changes in the layout of the scape. It just kind of develops as I return things to the tank. It's always a good feeling when your water change is complete and you can definitely see the fish are happy. Until next time, this is Deb Tim signing out. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you're having a great Friday and I wish you a super weekend ahead. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.